the Apple Newton. The Apple Newton, launched under John Scully, aimed to revolutionize PDAs with its handwriting recognition but fell short, turning glitchy and becoming a joke even on The Simpsons. Discontinued with Steve Jobs' return in 1998, it's a tale of ambition clashing with reality. Apple Pippin Apple's Pippin blended gaming and computing in the mid-90s but failed to impress, lacking developer support and struggling with a slow modem. Priced at $599, it couldn't compete with gaming giants and was discontinued a year after its debut. Hockey Puck Mouse The Hockey Puck Mouse, Apple's first USB mouse, was criticized for its round shape and impracticality, leading to user frustration. Its design misstep was acknowledged by Apple, which moved back to more ergonomic designs. The Apple Macintosh Portable The Macintosh Portable, Apple's first laptop attempt, was anything but with its 16-pound weight and 4-inch thickness. Plagued by design flaws, it highlighted the gap between ambition and practicality, leading to its discontinuation. The Power Mac G4 Cube the Power Mac G4 Cube's striking design couldn't overshadow its high price and lack of performance. Missing a monitor and failing to compete with its peers, it was discontinued within a year, despite its innovative appearance. The U2 iPod The U2 iPod, despite its unique red-click wheel and U2 signatures, failed to captivate beyond the band's fans. The $50 premium over standard models deterred the wider audience, proving even rock legends can't always sell tech. Apple Emate The Apple Emate, blending laptop and PDA features, stood out with its colorful design and $799 price. Despite inspiring later products like the iMac and iBook, its sales were restricted to educational institutions, limiting its reach. Discontinued just 11 months post-launch, the e-mate's potential was curtailed. Macintosh TV The Macintosh TV, Apple's 1993 attempt to merge television with computing, was limited by its inability to do both simultaneously. Priced at $2,495, its 14-inch screen could either display TV or function as a computer, but never both, hindering its appeal. The Apple III. The Apple III aimed at businesses, but fell short due to its lack of cooling fans, leading to overheating and component damage. This significant misstep tarnished Apple's image, culminating in its discontinuation in 1984. Apple Lisa. The Apple Lisa, pioneering with its graphical user interface, was hindered by a steep $10,000 price, mediocre performance, and limited software compatibility, leading to its discontinuation in 1986 after poor sales. 20th Anniversary Macintosh The 20th Anniversary Macintosh, or Spartacus, celebrated Apple's 20 years with advanced features like an LCD screen and Bose sound system. However, its $7,500 price led to poor sales prompting a price cut to $1,995 to clear stock. Performa 200 Series The Performa 200 Series, Apple's 1995 bid for cost-effective computers, backfired, tarnishing its reputation with subpar hardware and sluggish performance, fueling perceptions of Macs as inferior to Windows PCs and impacting 90s sales. HomePod Original The original HomePod launched in 2018, impressed with sound quality but stumbled on its high price, struggling against cheaper competitors. The HomePod Mini's introduction and a price drop to $299 in 2019 couldn't save it, leading to its discontinuation in 2021. iPod Hi-Fi The iPod Hi-Fi, released in 2006, aimed to enhance iPods with high-quality sound, but faltered due to its $349 price, much higher than competitors, limiting its market appeal despite positive sound reviews. iPhone 6 The iPhone 6 faced Bendgate, drawing attention for its susceptibility to bending under pressure, challenging Apple's reputation for durability. Despite claims of limited impact, 
the issue led to widespread scrutiny and a replacement offer for affected users. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll enjoy our different martial arts styles video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.